Hey, as you may recall, fascia is uh, pretty important stuff in our body. Fascia is tough, elastic, connective tissue. It's strong and it's elastic. And fascia actually has a very big role in how a muscle operates. The very outside covering of a muscle is in fact fascia. On the inside of the muscle, the sarcomere, which incorporates the actin and myosin myofilaments, uh, which give us a contraction, in fact lay themselves down on a bed of fascia. So fascia penetrates and permeates the entire muscle and allows us to spread tension through the muscle when the contractile proteins actually come into play. As I get towards the peripheral parts of a muscle or the ends of the muscle, the fascia continues along as the protein tissue begins to fade away and the fascia ends up beginning prolific and becoming the muscle's tendon. So a tendon is built very, very heavily of fascia. And that allows the muscle via fascia to transfer force, release force, and store force. And this is very important to us when we're considering the myofascial continuities, the continuation of muscles and fascia into one another that allow us to spread force across the body and in particular operate our sling systems.